name is John Fink. I go to the University of New Hampshire. I'm a mechanical engineering major. And over the summer, I've sort of developed a minor in oceanography, uh, working at the Woods Hole Group and uh, going to sea semester now at Woods Hole Oceanographic this summer. Woods Hole Oceanographic, uh, I'm working more on my mechanical engineering side, my skill set. I'm working on a broadband acoustic system to measure zooplankton and uh, microstructure in the ocean, more specifically turbines. Uh, at high broadband frequencies, which is a uh, relatively new technology um, that I'm getting involved with. When I was at Woods Hole Group, I got a lot of experience uh, deploying instruments. Um, I was out in the field almost weekly, and sometimes I'd be out in the field a week at a time or two weeks. I uh, did everything from beach profiling with uh, GPS equipment to deploying ADCPs, uh, flow meters, uh, you name it, we threw it in the water at some point. Uh, the opportunity to go down to Louisiana and work on um, new platforms to gather data during hurricanes and um, I really got familiar with how the instrumentation works, um, what the problems are when you deploy it, all the information that's needed when you deploy them, which is uh, something a lot of people don't think about when they're analyzing data, but there's a lot that goes into putting something in the water, um, a lot of little details that I really got uh, pretty intimate with and it's given me a lot more opportunities um, because now people trust me with their instruments. Uh, I got a good amount of contact with all of the senior people, um, depending on what I was doing. Uh, Dave Walsh in particular, we, we teamed up often, um, doing more of the coastal work. Um, also with Bruce Magnell, who's a senior oceanographer, um, I helped him do a whole mooring setup that was going into uh, Alaska, and we even started to develop a tracking system uh, for the instruments we were deploying there. So uh, I get to work with everyone in the company, but I'm sure if um, I wanted to work with someone I could have. But, I chose to you know, experience all that's going on with Zoll Group. My name is Jimmy Doyle. Um, I go to the University of Rhode Island and I'm an ocean engineer major. I've been able to travel and do um, really go go to um, do projects like on the water I guess. I've been to uh, Connecticut, Rhode Island, all over Mass and then New Hampshire and um, basically I went, I went for three days uh, with with Mike and Dave, and uh, put in a bunch of water sensors. So I like I like how we uh, we get out and you know real hands on stuff. We we had to put in three water sensors, and uh, two were real easy. They were right right near. The, they were, it was in a national park, and uh, two were right near the parking lot. And the third one, we had a GP a handheld GPS, and we get to the edge of the marsh, and and the GPS is like you know a, hundred, a thousand meters. <laughs> So we go. So we're like, all right, let's just start walking. So we started walking for about, I don't know, half an hour or so through the uh, the mud and and uh, grass and stuff. And um, but when we got there, we were still there was there was basically it was patches of water and mud everywhere. There was a big river going through the marsh. It wasn't very deep. It was real muddy. And so we got basically got as close as we could, and we were still you know uh, 10 meters away. So. Um, so Dave actually he said he, he volunteered to go out in the mud, so he was wading through mud up to his up to his hip and uh, got to the spot the GPS told him and he put the sensor in. And we had to hand stuff out, uh, out to him with this long ten foot pole. So but that was, uh, that was we got some good pictures of that. I definitely love traveling, you know. Um, but also also the people I work with are really nice and helpful. They they uh, they like to like you know, I, like Dan and Hung, and they, they all show me, you know, what, they could just do do their thing and just tell me what to do, but they like to show me, you know, what they're doing, how to do it, and so that's definitely helpful, so I'm learning as I'm working, so, I like that. I guess there is, there's four people that applied for it, so, I mean, it's not something that's easily, you can just get every day, but, yeah, I definitely, I love it. So.